Well, our next story is about a young Gambian man who, in search of a better future, finds the journey from Africa to Europe fraught with danger and humiliation. He now shares his harrowing experience with other young people to deter them from following in his footsteps. 25-year-old Gambian Mustafa recalls his perilous journey from Gambia to Libya, where he was detained as he tried to make it through the desert to Europe. Every day you hear gun sounds, you see people being shot, people being beaten, yeah, people getting tortured. Every day you see it. I never heard a gun sound until I reached Libya, here in Gambia. I never heard gun sound until Libya. And Libya every day, every day, morning, night, any time, yeah, these heavy weapons, you will hear it like RPG, boom, until the house will be shaking. Now back in Banjul, he's keen to prevent other young people from taking the same perilous path. Alongside his friend Lamin, they're working with youth against irregular migration to warn others of the dangers of illegal migration. So after reaching to Libya, at the first checkpoint, yeah, they strip us there, take all, take all uh, our monies, our belongings, our bags, everything. So they put us back to the pickup and say, that's our pay before we enter Libya. Mustafa used smugglers to cross the desert through Niger. Libya is the main launching point for people risking their lives to reach Europe. But Mustafa and Lamine want to put an end to that. Libya is like a prison. That's why we are sensitizing all the young people so that they can stay and we can work on our future from here. We are going to help each other with this association so that we can try to take control of our future. Only last month, a Spanish police ship Rio Seguaro rescued over 1,000 migrants off the coast of Libya over a period of 24 hours. They say the migrants were rescued from a number of dinghies that were adrift and included people from Nigeria, South Africa, Mali, Ghana, Gambia, Niger, Guinea, Benin and Togo. Half a million people have crossed the Mediterranean from Libya to Italy over the past four years, mainly sub-Saharan Africans who pay smugglers to shepherd them across the desert to Libya and onward to Europe in unseaworthy dinghies. At least 20,000 migrants are being detained in Libya, the main gateway to those attempting to reach Europe by sea. That's according to the International Organization for Migration.